got my peaches out in Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing more of a chit chat, vlog style, walk me through tutorial on how easy it is to turn your closure wig into a, well not into a frontal, cause it's still a closure, but for it to give you frontal vibes, you know, giving fresh out the scalp. Cause closures, if you were wearing closures back in 2015, 2014, 16 low key too, you know the struggle you know the come up. So the closure that I'm working with today is from Beauty Forever. They just sent me this wig right here. I just got the box. It is there. Let me make sure I got the right information because I just be talking. Um, I believe this is their Jerry Curl Lace. And this is a, just a regular, it looks like a regular four by four. Yeah, it looks like a regular four by four. HD and this is what she's looking like 26 inches. She's very long and very thick So first thing first we have to do is bleach the knots I don't know if you can see these knots the little black thing at the bottom of the lace First to get a very natural coming out of our scalp look we have to bleach the knots So let's do that for knots the tools you're gonna need is bleaching powder. I just use BW It's very standard get it from local supply local beauty supply store or Amazon and I also like to use 40 volume developer and I feel like for personally I was just using 30 to 40 nothing below or above that because if you're doing anything above will probably bleach too fast anything low like 20 volume will bleach too slow so if you're a beginner I feel like start with 30 and as you get more comfortable with bleaching hair you can go up to 40 volume developer for much faster lifting now for bleaching my knots, I used to never know how much I needed. And I would say for closures, honestly, you get a really big tub like this, really one scoop. One scoop is enough for a closure and a frontal. And if you get the little like sachets that they sell at the beauty supply store, you really just need one sachet for closure and two sachets or packs, whatever they're called, for a frontal. Cool. So I got my little one scoop going and I always say, Pours this in slowly because you have to get the right consistency for you to not mess up this process. So I just kind of like pour a little bit in, do a little swirly swirl. It's still very grainy. Pour a little bit in because I'm going for a nice creamy, not too runny type of consistency. Pour a little bit more. make sure I mix it this is still like this right here that is too chalky like you don't want chalkiness so I'll pour just a little bit more give it a good mix it's still not there just a little bit because now I don't want it too runny now Mm -hmm. that's it that's it right here you see that nice and creamy it's not spilling like if you pick up your little spatula thing and you tip it over and it's spilling that means it's too watery and you have to make it thicker before I bleach my knots I like to make sure the hair is on the frontal enclosure is always pushed back I don't want to mess up and end up getting like bleach on the actual hair so I'll just get some water and just spray the front and get like actually an edge brush or something and just push that hair back so that I know I'm not putting actual bleach onto the hair all right now she's ready that I have my knots nice and covered with bleach I just go ahead and let the wig sit and time honestly every wig is different some knots will bleach easier some knots take more time so I kind of just come back I kind of just check every 15 minute interval as a beginner so every 15 minutes come in check your knots let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the knots understand what I'm saying uh, 
So yeah, every 15 minutes, come back, check your knots to see if it's gone from black to blonde, black to brown, and once you get to that right blonde color that you're supposed to be going for, that's, that's when you know it's time to wash. But honestly, max for me, 30 minutes is really the maximum. If after 30 minutes the hair has not bleached, then I probably have to wash it out and do it again. Do not be over here waiting 45 minutes to an hour. You're just gonna have your hair fall out. You're gonna get bald spots and damage the frontal. So yeah. Okay, so it's about fifth, it's been about 20-ish, mm, 20-ish minutes. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up right, but I can see that the knots have at the bottom has definitely turned more of an orange blonde color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and wash this out because I don't like to over bleach it because sometimes if I let it stay for too long, I notice the knots are very fragile and I get more balding in the long term with my front. Now I'm also gonna use this purple shampoo to help tone the orange knots to a more neutral, less brassier, bright color. Now we are ready to pluck our wig just like a frontal you need to pluck the wig to kind of reduce the bulkiness on the hairline to give a coming out of the scalp look. So I'm putting my wig onto my canvas head and under my canvas head or on top of my canvas head I have these wet wipes or like napkins just to help me see my knots because it's much easier to see the knots when you're plucking on something white. I'm going ahead and just pinning down the wig so she does not move and the wig was already parted in the middle for me straight out of the box so I always make sure my wig is parted in the middle even, even if it doesn't come parted in the middle. I'm spraying some water onto the hairline so I can push it all back so I can really see what I'm working with. These are the tweezers that I like to use. They're from Revlon. Best tweezers that I've tried in my opinion. Make sure you get a slant tip tweezer. And let's get into the actual plucking tutorial. So there's not gonna be an in-depth tutorial. I already have one up on my channel, but we're gonna do a little run through. So first I pull out the hair that is in front of the actual hair. I mean the actual frontal I pull this hair out because I'm going to save it for my baby hairs I don't want it to be too thin in the front and now I have no baby hairs to work with so I pull that out and I start to pluck behind the hairline and I just go in my tweezers making sure I'm pulling from the root pluck a space skip a space pluck a, blah, pluck a space skip a space that's so hard to say but yeah I feel like it makes more sense probably visually I try not to pluck in the same area so it's kind of like you're plucking skipping plucking skipping but not like super dramatically because you don't want big gaps in your wig and then I do that comb all of that out to make sure I get all the knots to see what I'm going with and then I just pull out another section and pluck behind that Once I have plucked all of the hair behind the hairline, I pushed it all to the front and plucked just a little bit of the front just to clean it up the way that I like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side.
other side is done and the wig is looking like she's giving a scalp and we are ready to install so i have on a nude wig cap and i just push that back because i don't want the wig cap to be peeking under the actual lace then i go in with my concealer that is my exact skin tone match and just use that to buff under the lace so i can get a really good match onto my skin and then use a blow dryer to just dry all of that up because we don't want any makeup residue on our head wig is on and we are ready to install stuff like the second time so i'm just cutting off these little side tabs that come onto your closure you don't want to be gluing this part down today i'm using my got to be glued in the black gel i normally like to use the ebon lace spray but i ran out so this will suffice but honestly this worked pretty well i think it's got to be in quite some time so i just go ahead and apply a thin layer under the lace where the hairline is going to lay and i just go in with my blow dryer in a cool setting to just push that lace and gel combination into my hair and i'm using my rat tail comb to really push that lace down to get a nice melt as you can see this lace is already disappearing into my scalp without even cutting it off yet it's not just giving you frontal it's giving you scalp all right now i'm using my eyebrow razor to go ahead and just cut off the lace and the importance of the eyebrow razor versus scissors is to get that jagged look which looks more natural than straight across cut on your head as you can see i'm still going in and pushing down that lace into whatever leftover got to be is still on my head that's not dry to really make sure i'm melting that lace into my skin i go ahead and pull out the hairs i'm going to use it for my baby hairs and then once i've done that i go in with this elastic band to just really help the lace lay down some more and to make sure it's nice and stuck and dry i let this stay on my head for another probably five to ten minutes while that is simmering i'm just going to use this wax stick and my hot comb to help press down the hair all right now it's time to do our baby hairs for my baby hairs i'm using this eco styler gel i love using this stuff because it gets really good hold but also it's not too sticky and messy and i can move the baby hairs around while i'm still figuring out where i want them to lay so you know i feel like baby hairs are also a visual thing so i'm just gonna let you guys watch my baby hairs and i'll come back when i'm done with that all right we are done making our little swoopy swoops and i'm going to go ahead again and lay down my lace using the elastic band to let that dry in place and we are going to start detangling and styling the hair so honestly this part is super simple i just have a spray bottle filled with literally just water it's all about how you brush out the curl so you get that really nice defined curl and i do have a detailed tutorial on how i get all my wigs to be really curly and look really nice and defined once I am done detangling the hair and the hair has air dried, I'll come back and show you guys the final product. I 
got too much to go to the north, yeah, yeah, that's bitch. I get my life right from the source, yeah, yeah, that's it. I got my features out in Georgia, Georgia. So it has been a couple of hours, probably two to three hours now in this clip and the hair has air dried to about maybe 90%. This hair got super big the more drier it gets and this is 180% density but overall I really enjoyed this wig and the install. Right now I'm just doing some finishing touches to really perfect the look, plucking away some hairs that don't belong there, going in with some concealer onto the part to really make it pop. In the clip, because my lighting is very orange, I was fig figuring out new lighting. The concealer looks really bright onto the lace, but I promise you in the daylight, which I will show, the concealer blended in perfectly into my skin to really give that really nice, perfect middle part look. I also used some mascara as well to fix the over bleached knots in some areas. But yeah, that's all I have, have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, comment down below and peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye.